Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, let's take a look at all those changes and improvements available in device care section on One UI 3.0. Of course, this is the beta version of One UI 3.0 running on this device here. I've also got Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, which is running on One UI 2.5. I will be using this device to compare it with the Note 20 Ultra running on the beta version of One UI uh, to show you the differences. Now, let me just open device care on both the phones. As you can see here, nothing much has changed in the layout, but there is a change on the top right corner. We've got some tips available here in One UI 2.5, whereas if you look at One UI 3.0, we've got a different icon over here. And when you tap it, we've got few options here. There are some details here, like the restart history. We've got an option to turn on auto restart at set times. We also have a tip right here at the bottom. All right, now let's go back. Let's press battery. As you can see, we've got an all new layout on One UI 3.0, whereas on One UI 2.5, we have got battery usage, power mode, and app power management, etc. right here. Now, the most important upgrade or change is with regard to the screen on time on the device. Let me just hit battery usage on One UI 2.5, and we can see the statistics and these bars, which are quite confusing if you want to see your screen on time. On One UI 3.0, we have got this all new graph or all new chart, which is going to show you the accurate screen on time of this device. So for that, you just have to press this graph. As you can see, we've got the screen on time detail here since the full charge. And you can also just swipe towards your right to see the details similar to One UI 2.5. So we have got both the statistics available here. You can just swipe left or right to see these details. On One UI 2.5, it was quite difficult to calculate. It was quite confusing to calculate screen on time as it was showing us the screen on time from 12 a.m. till the time you have used the phone. But now with this new update on One UI 3.0, you will be able to see screen on time since the full charge, which is great. Now let's go back. Now another big improvement, or I would say a big change is in terms of power saving modes. On One UI 2.5, we have got four different modes. We have got high performance mode, optimized mode, medium power saving mode, and maximum power saving mode. Whereas on this new update, we just have one power saving mode. You can just enable the toggle or disable the toggle. And if you press this power saving mode, it is gonna show you some of the additional limits to save battery when power saving mode is on. We can turn off always on display or keep it on. We can limit the CPU speed to 70% or let it run at full power. We can decrease the brightness by 10% and we can turn off the 5G if you have 5G in your region. And when we turn on this toggle, power saving mode will show up on the status bar. It doesn't talk about the refresh rate. If you go back to the display settings, you can see it's at 60 Hertz. If you want to change it to 120 Hertz, you will have to turn off the power saving mode. And if you're wondering where is this adaptive power saving mode has gone, it is available here on more battery settings. When you tap this, you can see adaptive battery option available here. We also have an option here called enhanced processing, which says get faster data processing for the most demanding applications and games, which uses more batteries. So if you want the performance over battery, then you can just enable this toggle. We can also see fast charging, super fast charging and fast wireless charging toggles right here at the bottom. And we also have toggles for charging information and battery percentage here in more battery settings. That's about the battery settings. Now let's go to storage. As you can see here, there are some changes here as well. We can see some modern looking representation of the internal storage which is being used and which is available. On One UI 2.5, we can see documents, images, videos, audio, applications, and themes. And when you hit advanced, you will be able to see a few other items here. Whereas on One UI 2.3, we have got images, video, audio, documents, installation files, compressed files, applications, system, other, and recycle bin. So we have got a detailed breakup of storage space on One UI 3.0, which is really cool. We also have a recycle bin option at the bottom. As you scroll down, you will be able to see cached files, duplicate files and large files which are available right here. So you can just click them and you can delete them if you want. Now let's go back. Let's go to memory. Nothing much has changed here. More or less it looks the same. 
Now the last option we see on One UI 3.0 is device protection. The same thing is mentioned as security on One UI 2.5. And when you select that, you will be able to see similar kind of layout here as well and no other changes over here. I think those are some of the important changes or improvements on One UI 3.0 which you should know. If you have already downloaded the beta version and using it, you can let me know if I have missed on anything. You can just leave a comment which will be useful for other viewers as well. That's about it. I will be coming up with the battery test results of One UI 3.0 beta on Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So stay tuned for that. I will just test it on both the modes on power saving mode as well as the normal mode. So let's see how the battery test results are going to be. If you have got any questions or if you want to share something, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.